And this is the 50th anniversary of the start, uh, really, of the Vietnam veterans uh, returning back to the States. So we gave them a big welcome home. And you had a special Marine that was here today. Right. We had uh, Major uh, Timothy Callahan, uh, a Pahrump native. Uh, he's lived there. He and his wife moved here in uh, 2013. And he, in particular, was uh, at uh, the Pentagon during the 911 attack and uh, had, uh, I lost count, at least four tours in, in uh, Iraq. And uh, it was just a pleasure to have him here. I, I, I kind of look back uh, to my time uh, when I retired from the Corps in 1970, and uh, I look at him and I could see myself. Yeah. And like I told the folks, uh, you can see why I'm not wearing a uniform today. <laughs> um, Gigi Sweets Memorial is continuing on here. You even interned a couple people? Yes, uh, we had uh, Gunnery Sergeant uh, Brummett, who was a World War II and Korean veteran. Uh, he also served in the occupation of uh, China and relieved the Japanese at the end of the war. And we had uh, Colonel uh, Scanlon, who was our company commander uh, for a time in, during the Korean War. A lot of different people participated in this event. I can see uh, uh, the Boy Scouts, the JROTC, and the Marines. That's correct. Uh, we try every year to introduce some of the young folks because they are our future. They do a, a marvelous job. Tell me a little bit, um, what's, when's the next uh, event going to be happening here at Gigi Suites? Well, it's hard to tell because, uh, uh, of course, uh, our original unit that started this thing, there's only two of us uh, still living, and I live in Arizona, and I have to coordinate everything from there. But uh, uh, whenever uh, families get a hold of me and uh, they tell me that their son or daughter or whatever passed away, uh, we schedule a, uh, a ceremony, burial ceremony for them. But uh, we will be, uh, as long as I can uh, do it and as long as I can live, uh, we'll be here every year.